Well, hello. Thank you for coming to hang out with me today. I was wondering what video I was going to film today. I have a long list of videos that I want to film like in the next few weeks. Some of them are really time consuming and I just figured, uh, well, I have stuff to do around the house today, so I might as well take you along with me and uh, a few, we'll probably make something in the kitchen, something delicious. Meredith asked for um, muffins, chocolate muffins we recently bought from Trader Joe's and we all ate them and she wanted more and I was like, well, maybe we can make some. I don't have any yogurt, so we'll figure it out. I'm not sure. But I also need to go through this cabinet here. It's where we're supposed to store our blankets, but there are zero blankets in here. I see a whisk, I see some shoes, I see toys. It's getting ridiculous, it's out of hand. And then all the drawers on the front side, full of crap. I don't, okay, I'll show you. I mean, I say crap, but really Meredith play, oh, chalk, that's great. I love that that's inside. Meredith plays with all this. It's just a bunch of her toys. It's great, but also, um, it's like right when you walk in, that's what you see. Just a bunch of crap. <laughs> and then upstairs, I've been meaning to go through the games and there are like two lower cabinets and one upper cabinet. So, un just like thrown in there, you know? So I'd like to go through that and get rid of some stuff. So like declutter a little bit because I just feel like there's always like little pieces of crap everywhere. I'm like stepping over it or worse, stepping on it. And then I'm like, Ugh. So I just need to go through the stuff, get rid of what we don't play with. Cause like, you know, kids, they go through this, they pick out the toys that they like and then the rest they just leave. So I'm starting to understand what she's more into. And uh, what else will we do? I don't ask me, I don't know. Those are the two main things on my mind. My closet too, but that's just a whole other beast in and of itself. Should we do, do upstairs first? I'm mostly saying that because I really don't want to do this, but I should just tackle this first because it's right, it's, let's just do it. Just do it and live is what I always say. I was cleaning my yoga mat this morning and I put some essentials, essential oils on it. And during my yoga class, it was like so uplifting and so amazing. I didn't have sand all over my body like last week. So that was really nice. I just gave it like a once over this morning. Okay, anyway, so this chest, is awesome, right? It has a nice, but like these, this should be full of pillows and blankets. Last night, there's always a story, isn't there? So last night, the catalyst for this project, if you can call it a project, I don't know, cleaning situation. Oh my gosh, you should see the floor oh, covered in sprinkles. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed and you can't even see it. Whatever, we'll get to it. Anyway, last night, I barely watched TV. Barely, mostly because I don't have time. Wolfgang was miraculously sleeping the same time as Meredith and the other kids were in bed, the bigger girls, we put them to bed a little later and so we were like, what should we watch on TV? Alex and I. So we turned on the Murdoch Murders, which is crazy sauce. I like true crime, him not so much, but listen, I've put in 15 years of like watching the stuff he wants to watch. Okay, so <laughs> that was something he sparked an interest in too and I was like, let's do it. Anyway, looked in here because you know, when we turn something on TV, 10 minutes into it, I'm like asleep, you know? So I need a blanket, I need a pillow. And I guess it's been so long since we've done that. Uh, there are no pillows and no blankets in here. Let's figure out what's in here. And then we will stock it full of pillows and or blankets slash, I don't think I have any pillows really. I definitely have a bunch of blankets. Not ones that I particularly enjoy. Like what's a whisk doing in here? Oh, probably because I let Wolfgang play with it. All right. So, okay, well, I'm doing this wrong. Well, am I doing it wrong? Here's what I'm going to do. Here's my plan of attack. I'm gonna take everything out. I'm trying to think, should I go and stop being lazy? Would you go get two boxes right now, a box or a garbage can or a garbage bag, whatever. And then as I take it out, put the crap, so much crap. So little thought process behind it. Like what's this? Oh, it's a shelf for that thing. Well, you know what? I don't think we're ever gonna use it so I can get rid of that. Uh, this is my robe. Oh my gosh, an American Girl doll boot. She must have had a rough day and broke her leg. I wish I could break my leg. Just like spend a couple nights in the hospital, you know what I mean? Not like a bad injury, but bad enough where they have to keep me for a couple nights. <laughs> 
might be able to get some sleep. All right, anyway, don't know where to hang that. Oh, the, I lied, there was a blanket in here. Oh my gosh, there was a blanket and a pillow in here. I just didn't look hard enough. I should have looked harder. All right, well, nothing too exciting happening down here. Oh, Halloween costumes, that's great. The hardest part of this is just going to be me putting all of this stuff where it belongs. Like all these teeny, tiny, half of me just wants to pitch it. I don't even wanna deal with it. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for this. I have one in my closet. You know what I mean? Like if it's been in here for four months and we, oh, goggles. I have been needing some goggles, so that's a good find. That made That is the only thing that made it worth it, I think. Like 98% of this stuff, garbage. Oh my gosh, is this a shoe? Whose shoe is this? I'm gonna go get a box. Let's take a little field trip, field trip. Here are the sprinkles, by the way. We'll stop and see the sights along the way. <laughs> and to our right is some crusty old donut. And up on our left here is the laundry room. And I gotta tell you, I am pumped today. Listen, okay, a couple things I wanna say. First of all, laundry, you gotta do it, right? It's annoying, it's always never ending. You just gotta do it. Except for when you don't wanna do it and then don't do it, you know? I'm sure you have enough clothes that could tie you over. But what I wanted to say is, in my head I thought, I'm gonna buy the same detergent over and over and over and over again. Because what's the point? I use basically the same detergent. But under here I have like five different detergents that I don't really use. I bought this a while ago. I love the Molly's Suds product and I especially love this um, cedar scent. I have it in the sink cleaner and I love it. And they had it, the Thrive Market was selling it as the laundry powder. And I was like, I'm gonna throw that in my laundry. So I'm excited to see what that is gonna smell like when it comes out. It's like a more natural brand. It calls for one tablespoon per load, but I just found this and just did, you know, two, probably two tablespoons worth. Why did I come in here? Anyway, so I have started laundry. <laughs> but what I actually need is a box, which I have out here. This is a, a donate box already, um, just in the garage that we've had that I just collect things and I put it in there. Um, I think this size is more appropriate. Oh good, I have two boxes in here. So I'm gonna take this box inside and it'll be my donate box or garbage box. I was hunting for my water bottle because I need to purify my soul and hydrate and I saw this. Have you seen that thing on Instagram or TikTok? I don't have a TikTok, but it's like, the cool thing about kids is when they're not in front of a screen, they do stuff like this. Anyway, if I did that reel, it would be more like, and the cool thing about kids is they do stuff like this and it would cut to a clip of them like absolutely destroying my house when they're not in front of a screen. <laughs> Getting into the Tupperware, taking out all their toys. But that's that's what they're supposed to do. You know what I mean? It's all about exploring and having fun. Not to say that my kids are in front of a screen a ton, because I don't know. Life's all about balance. Uh, so, here's the thing. Recently, and when I say recently, I mean a while. It's been a while, before the holidays, well before. I may have still been pregnant. Someone gave us an obscene amount of Monster High dolls. Anyway, a ton of Monster High dolls. This isn't even all of them. Anyway, a ton of Monster High dolls. Like this isn't even a fraction of them, a lot. So they are all over my house, upstairs, in her room, in my room, in the living room, Eleanor's room, Wentworth's room, probably our pantry, is too much. But she loves them. They kind of scare me. Ooh, a baby. So anyway, I'm gonna put all the dolls in a pile. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even work anymore. Come on, Woody. This kind of reminds me of the movie. Isn't that how the movie goes? He gives his voice box to like that doll. Oh, it's kind of bad. Got a snake in my boot. Oh my gosh, so I didn't even finish the story about the Monster High thing. It came with accessories, like a million teeny tiny little accessories. And here's the thing, Wolfgang is gonna start crawling, like, s soon, and then all this stuff is gonna, you know, I can't, I just can't. So I might pack it all in a tub and hide it for later. She's cute! Oh my gosh, a Kelly doll. 
Do we love her? I love her. I want to be her. I Can I find an outfit that looks like this? It's a jumper. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a freaking jumper. Look at her hair too. If I can get this kind of volume, tell me what product to use. You got to let me in on your hair secrets. <laughs> she's amazing. All right, she's a keeper. This is literally one of my worst nightmares like going through and sorting all of these teeny tiny little toys. I'm just gonna do it as fast as I can without trying to overthink it or anything like that. And I'm gonna put those Monster High dolls into a box. And when no one asks to play with the Monster High dolls after six months, I am going to donate it. <laughs> I can almost guarantee you that Meredith specifically will not ask for these Barbies. She has other dolls to play with and that will work perfectly fine. And I have a couple stories for you. So one is I recently heard someone talk about how kids play better with less toys. And it makes sense, but also consumerism, right? <laughs> like birthdays and gifts and all this stuff. That's why Alex and I try to focus on outdoor toys and like, you know, bigger things that they can play with. But you know, we're not immune to getting our thing, our kids little like knick-knacky kinds of toys as well. So obviously, I mean, look around our house, we've got a ton. But like those flashcards with the dress, Meredith loves them. I've had them ever since Avelina was little. This doll, however, have not had that around. Not sure where it came from. Definitely don't want to keep it around. Pretty sure it's got a curse on our house, okay? <laughs> Let it curse someone else. So anyway, the goal is to get the kids out in nature and I think there's research that shows that kids don't really differentiate between life and play. So that's a good thing. We want them out in nature learning. You know, they, they learn as they play. Obviously, you know this. I know you know this. I'm just giving you a little refresher. The funny story I had for you was a friend of ours recently took Wentworth to the fair. A big fair, tons of rides, tons of toys, tons of stuff to do, tons of lights, do, 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 tons of music, you know, all the captivating stuff that <laughs> that is used to draw people in and, oh boy, look at this, it's so entertaining, it's so amazing, it's so magical. So he came home, told me the story of how they just had so much fun on this like dirt pile. It was supposed to be for, or I guess it was built out to be some kind of obstacle course or uh, not dirt bike, maybe some something similar, okay? So like 12 foot sand piles and the kids were just having a blast running on those, rolling around and playing. And that was brought, that story was brought up because you know, our kids were playing outside and I said, it's just so amazing how much fun they'll have with a mound of dirt because obviously we were having construction around our house so we've got some dirt and the kids love it more than I could ever explain to you. That's why we, um, in our backyard, have some sand. Alex and I decided, like, the kids have so much fun just in a mound of dirt, a mound of sand. I'm telling you, get a sand pit, get something. They sell sand at Lowe's. You can get a water table. We used to have a water table, and we threw, I think it was like $5 or $10 for 50 pounds of sand. Sounds like a lot. It's actually not a crazy amount. It will fill up a, a water table and the kids will have a field day. They'll just play and play and play. They love the feel of dirt. It grounds them. It's just great, right? So I thought that story was interesting when he told me that because I was like, isn't that amazing how all of this can be going on behind them, right? The light shows, the music and all this. And meanwhile, they're completely fixated on just playing in the dirt <laughs> and it was several kids so it wasn't just like oh, a couple of uh outlanders over here it was like you know all the kids so anyway my point is i'm trying to lessen the load of the toys around our house and don't get me wrong we still have like a gob ton of toys but i'm trying to just make it so it's easy easier and, and more enjoyable for them to play without having to sift through all of the toys at once so i think i did that with this table all of the drawers they weren't full but they were i don't know full of crap and so the only thing that i put back in fill it doesn't even fill up that top drawer anymore whereas before two at least two of the drawers were like overflowing, right? And especially the bin, and now it has blankets in it, and it makes me darn happy. 
Okay, I didn't fully clean up from dinner last night, so I need to wipe these counters down slash making lunch this morning. <laughs> slash, I'm in a new outfit. I don't know how many days it's been, but it's been days. You know, stuff is just, life, life, that's all I can say. Um, I'm making something, about to make something. Lunch, slash my breakfast, because I'm about to break my fast. I haven't eaten anything, except for, I guess I have eaten something, pecan pie. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. It's still a mess and there's a hard noodle right there. Jordan. Okay, I am about to make Monte Cristo sandwiches. Have you heard of these things? Because, I mean, I've heard of them. I've never had one before. Oh, by the way, I didn't finish cleaning up after dinner last night because this one kept waking up. This one kept waking up. <laughs> you rattle now though? Are you happy now? Life is great when you have no sleep. Anyway, it's a sandwich and it has powdered sugar on it. So I figure like, how can that be bad? Right up my alley. I have everything to make it. So let's do that. I need sourdough, ham, turkey, Swiss, mayonnaise. Oh my gosh, I need eggs. Okay, I wasn't prepared for the eggs. But this is getting a little expensive. <laughs> oh, and I didn't even tell you what's on the docket today. Completely different from the other day. I halted my decluttering. I still want to go through those game cabinets. I want to make lunch. I want to make banana bread with the girls later today when they get home. I want to clean the bathrooms because we're having guests over, which leads me to making a whole bunch of snacks slash boards for our guests. Alex is having some people over to play to put, you know. So I'm gonna throw some snacks together. But first, eggs. I just got caught up on the eggs and also sidetracked. I need milk and Dijon. And my fridge has been open this entire time. Great. Okay, this better be fast, quick, and easy. <laughs> now that I'm reading how to make it, I'm just gonna do some eggs and a splash of milk. Is it like French toast with meat inside and mayonnaise? <laughs> If so, I'm in. I'm gonna throw a little bit of mayonnaise on each piece of bread. The bottoms anyway, I'm just making two. And then, oh gosh, a little bit of Dijon. I wasn't going to use a knife, but here we are. Has the mayonnaise curdled? Because it's been about 30 minutes. Throw some cheese on there, some ham. This is Publix Sweet Ham, and Publix does everything the best. Even the bread here is from their bakery. Oh my gosh, I don't even get a start about their bakery. Okay, I'm just gonna throw some turkey on. Bada boom, I think that's it. Top it. I'm gonna grease this amazing skillet. Really, I just need two places to plop the sandwiches. And then I guess you put the sandwich in the egg mixture. Yeah, things are getting weird. And then put it on. How did this sandwich get its name? Pop it on here. I feel like this is gonna taste really good. <laughs> this is a perfect breakfast, as a matter of fact. Mayonnaise, questionable. This looks amazing. Yeah. Uh, Ouch, oh God, it's hot. Ooh, that looks good. Do we need toothpicks for this? I have some powdered sugar here. Here's the magic. I love this. I love every second about it. Maybe that was a little too much. Here, we have one more. It's a marshmallow world in the winter. Just cutting it. Should I cut it? Should I just cut it in half? Let's just cut it in half. Oh my heavens. This is it. This is what dream. All right, here it is. Monte Cristo. Bon appetit. I'm so ready to eat. All right, I'm not gonna lie. The sandwich was a little weird. The mayonnaise was just really throwing me off. You know, I'd rather, I think I'd rather have French toast. <laughs> But since we're having people over, I don't know if they're gonna come inside and use the bathroom, but like maybe, cause like they're, the game is outside. So I'm just gonna, I mean obviously if someone has to use the bathroom, here it is. I'm gonna, it, plus it needs to be cleaned anyway. Do I have anything else to say about it? Yes, but will I? I'll stop there. I'm gonna clean the bathroom. Let's do it. Oh, and while I'm in here. This has really been bothering me. <laughs> it might, uh, okay, it might not look that bad, but like it is. It is that bad. Ask me why we have 17 toothbrushes in there. I don't have an answer. I think his hair gel is down here. Time to tidy. I'm frazzled right now because, you know, Wolfgang is in my arms and all I can think of is like, how, how long am I going to have? So I gotta move as fast as I can. While also trying to be efficient. 
It feels so good to be able to do stuff with two hands. I can't explain to you. It just, even though I was cleaning and doing something annoying, it's like the first time I looked in the mirror all day, apparently. And I was like, is this what I've been looking like? I don't even know where that moisture came from on my shirt. Pretty sure it's just from Wolfgang, like, you know, sucking on my shirt or drooling because pretty sure he has started teething. He just turned five months old. And I think my oldest cracked her for, not cracked her first tooth, but what do they call it? When it breaks through the gums? I don't know, but you know, it comes through. Hers came at five months or maybe six. Was it six? Right when she turns six? I'm pretty sure she was five months. It doesn't really matter. Somewhere around there. So he's teething, needless to say. And I have been on the hunt for an amber necklace. I know I have some around the house and I have Eleanor's old one that Meredith wore and Wentworth wore. So you can imagine how worn it is. <laughs> so I figured I'd get a new one for him. So I'm on the hunt for one of those. And uh, that's supposed to help with teething discomfort. They don't chew on it. If you don't know, an amber Baltic teething necklace has like the amber in it, the Baltic amber, hundred make sure it's 100% has healing properties so the warmth of your the baby's skin can warm up the amber and it's just supposed to help with discomfort some people adults wear necklaces to help with headaches um, you're supposed to wear it close to the discomfort so like teething they wear necklaces don't let them sleep in it obviously stay safe all that good stuff but <laughs> when did this turn into an amber necklace education course i don't know i digress uh, so anyway, some people who have arthritis, they wear bracelets on their wrists and stuff like that. So look into it if that's something that you're interested in. It's more of like a homeopathic kind of thing. Some people believe in it. Some people don't. I figured why the heck not. Doesn't hurt anyone. Uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, so I'm, oh, by the way, this is the moment where I decided, oh, let me put this chapstick on. And then it got all over my teeth for the rest of the video. If you notice, I didn't even notice. Clearly, I looked in the mirror for the first time halfway through this video. So anyway, I'm happy that I got these bathrooms cleaned. It was chore, chore day for my kids, but they had a lot more going on. And sometimes I just pick up the slack and it's no big deal. I'm their mom. That's my job. Yes, they clean. I'm not alone in cleaning. Everyone pitches in around here. That's how a family works. And uh, today I just decided to come through and give it a good wipe down, a good cleaning. And the rest was left to them. All right. Well, I'm upstairs and I've been meaning to do this for a while. I hardly come up here. I don't know. I don't know what happens up here. Chaos. It's the playroom, so it's whatever. Okay, I've been putting this off for a really long time, mostly because I don't really have a plan. So the board games are down here, and I put those locks on the cabinets. That doesn't stop anyone. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to move the board games up there because the people who will use them ideally will be able to reach, right? Better than the small kids with an insurmountable amount of strength ripping the locks off of the cabinets. Hopefully they won't get, who the heck knows? I just want them harder to access. And so that's my main goal. Other than that, I don't really even know what's under there. It'll be fun for us to find out. And I think that's why I've been putting it off because I don't know, I want a project from like start to finish to be done in the same day. It's not realistic, especially when I don't even have expectations for it. And I don't know how the end result is gonna look. It's not gonna be perfect. I know that, but okay. And then I guess we'll tidy up up here. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. Ah, give me my hair. We've got a lot happening with the popcorn. I don't like what kind of stuff happens that the art falls down. My kids are monsters, I tell ya. So I guess first we'll look at an overview of this place figure out what's down here. All right, down here are all of the board games. And then this used to be empty until all of the board games got all discombobulated and some came over here. I think some of this stuff is for the baby, like infant toys. Oh, look, he's gonna love this. I was actually looking for this the other day. Oh, you want a book? You wanna read about the owl? He's on the prowl. All right, more baby toys. So. I don't really know what's down here. We'll figure it out. And then up here, oh, maybe I already started. <laughs> there are some board games up there. Um, supplies, whatever that means. Okay, let's just get to it. This project was so overwhelming for me. I had been putting it off. I just kept putting it off. I was like, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. So I'm glad that I finally tackled it. 
And one, it didn't take me that long. You know, that's how it always works out, you know. And two, I just can't believe, first of all, Wolfgang, he's like so big. He's been getting on his knees lately. I'm like, excuse me? Um, no. <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, he's so freaking cute. I um, I kept that clip normal speed for you. He, look how strong. Oh, he's so strong and handsome. All right, moving on. <laughs> he's my last baby. Let me indulge. Okay, so finally tackled this task that had been driving me crazy. And I don't even know what we're going to store under these cabinets. Like, and not as if we need to store anything at all. Ooh, blankets. Is this where I can put blankets? That might be really good because I'll tell you something in our, in the theater room area, there's a little linen closet, but it just, it's not working out. So I, I don't know what needs to happen for blanket storage, but something needs to happen because really they just end up all over the floor and I need to make it easy, right? So where they're not like getting shoved in everywhere. Also found out those baggies that everyone was raving about like, oh, instead of having board game boxes, put your board games in the bag. No, they're worse for me because when you have a board game, yeah, they're kind of jigsawed together when you're stacking them. But when you need to play a game, you open the cabinet and you're like, oh, that's the one I want to play. No, with the bags, you have to like bring them all out and sift through them. It, it takes forever to look through. So I got rid of most of those. Also, very easy for the kids to open and dump out. And that's how we lost a lot of pieces. So I ended up getting rid of a lot of board games, found out which ones the kids like, which ones they don't. Apples to apples is always a favorite. We actually have the favorites in a different spot in the house. So I'm going to have to bring those up eventually. But I'm liking this system where... Can you believe like basically those three cabinets I had ever, I got rid of everything except for the stuff that fit in this cabinet and I was so dang happy about it. Always feels good to like declutter a little bit. I am so happy about this. It doesn't look great. That's fine. But the poker sets that were up here, oh my gosh, I'm so glad they're in there. The chips and stuff, Alex is poker night, like, I don't know, once in a blue moon and he enjoys it. But it's hard to do that like with, <laughs> Hard to schedule that, but uh, eventually throughout time, he'll, he'll do more and more. But anyway, every time from downstairs, I can see this. So I'm so glad that they're covered now in there. And then all the board games are in there. I realized I hate the bags, but I have a couple things in bags, so I'll keep them. I think that's Scrabble and that is the checkerboard set. So that's there. And then their paint supplies. I didn't want to put those down because like, if kids get a hold of paint, it'll be all over the tarnation. Um, thought about putting it in Eleanor's room because she paints a lot, but she can know that they're up here for her if she needs them. Otherwise, I'm really happy the way that this cabinet turned out. I got rid of just a bunch of stuff that we don't use. Toys that have been up there for literally a year. They haven't asked to play with. And I don't want, like, I don't care. You know, it, chintzy little toys that they just dump out and I have to clean up or, you know, come on guys, let's clean, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm glad that they're gone also. Everything in here, not everything, baby toys. And those are like Barbie, American Girl doll stuff. We're still hanging on. It's not full, which is great because it used to be overflowing. So progress is being made. I love that this is clear. We don't need to shove it full of stuff that we don't use. Like there are books here, so I'll put those with the rest of the books. But games that we just don't play with, letter stuff and you know, um, what's in here? Trucks and stuff, I don't know. They have plenty of trucks, plenty of airplanes, plenty of that helicopters kind of stuff. So those games, missing pieces, whatever. So we're just gonna toss them. We are keeping the popcorn containers. I need to empty this and wash it. Um, so I'll put the popcorn containers under there. The popcorn maker, I feel like that makes the most sense. And then these drawers, and they, you know what? I've seen worse. They've stayed pretty nice since I initially organized them. Scissors, I have to remember. Wow, I have more things upstairs. I never think to come up here because it's just not like part of my life yet. <laughs> I don't come up here a lot, okay? And then um, baby proofing stuff. Oh, more of these lights from Christmas, I guess. Someone didn't get them, okay? Someone was on the naughty list. And then in here, we just had a guest. So like we're, I, I mean, we had a guest and then we have movie night up here. So we have blankets all over Tarnation. And then this was, don't ask me about that. Not my idea. And. In here, plan on coming up here more often because we do have movie night up here, but every time I come up here, I'm like, oh, fine, you know? <laughs> so I feel like if I make it more homey, I plan to get rid of these tables and get an, uh, what's it called, an accent table? 
like a, what do they call that? A console? I don't know what they call it. And I feel like once it's like more homey up there, then I'll come up here. I obviously come up here all the time, not all the time, enough, you know, to play with them, but I don't spend a lot of time up here. And then Alex has his telescope. Sometimes I'm out on the balcony. I don't know, it's just such a, I, I have said this since the beginning, it's such a random layout up here. I feel like when they're older, we'll be able to make it more functional. I don't know. I definitely don't know. But I do know that I need to tidy up up here because have I shown you the chaos? It's actually not so bad, okay? I've seen worse. This is just, you know, had a couple friends over, they played, no worries. And then I do have to put this into like a box to donate all of these things. And we still have to get this on the wall. It's on Alex's list of things to do. <laughs> Don't rush him. Okay, so this. I had like four bags of donate was not even expecting to get rid of a bunch of stuff, but I knew that there were toys that they weren't playing with, that they weren't asking for, and I just thought this is the day to get rid of them because what we have is enough. And it's funny how we've gone through because you know how you start out with one kid and then their small amount of toys expands. And I actually just looked online uh, what did I initially search? Kids play more with less toys. I was trying to find the research about it. And then you know how like Google has question prompts and it's like, are you also looking for this? So I guess there's a 20 toy rule. I, I don't know about that, but I guess that exists. And then there was a question, how many toys should a child have at a time? Well, this sparked my interest. Apparently if they're under, uh, okay, under four toys for a pre-mobile child. Uh, what? Uh, kind of makes sense. Okay. Under eight for a crawling child. Okay, also makes sense. Under 12 for a toddler. 12? My daughter has 12 Shopkins that she carries around in a backpack, also with 12 items of play food and probably 12 pairs of her doll's clothing items. <laughs> like 12 for a toddler? Well, Welcome to minimalism, okay? I am a maximalist, apparently, and that's something that maybe I'll work on. <laughs> I don't know. I read that and I was like, whoa, okay. Already Wolfgang has more than four toys because obviously hand-me-downs. But I'm trying to get better about it and not get like the crappy little toys that are just like, you know, you know the ones I'm talking about. I'm trying to get more... Like the play food toys, they love playing with their play kitchen. So I know that those toys are going to be around for a long time. So, and I know that the, the kids are always playing with them. Anyway, you guys know there's certain toys that the kids gravitate toward more than others. So I told you it's been a few days, but I still haven't done laundry. <laughs> Oops, life just got really busy and crazy for a minute. And today's chore day. I don't think we'll have time to get to the laundry, but I still would rather it ah be clean than not. I don't know why he has started doing this. I have a clogged milk duct, which is miserable. I'll just say that. But on top of that, he just started like pushing himself like that. Oh, like right on it. Like right this. He knows exactly where it is. He's like right there, mom. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, I know. So I'd rather have clean, a bunch of clean laundry than a bunch of dirty laundry, I guess. But ideally, it would be nice if it was also put away. Not sure if I'll ever have my life that put together. Maybe one day I will. Today's not that day. I wouldn't bet on tomorrow either. <laughs> also, this detergent, I don't, it doesn't really make your clothes smell like that. What a letdown. All right, I'm starting another load too. I guess it's laundry day. Oh, fun for me. Every day's laundry day, let's be real. Also, this happened when I tried to uh, throw away the popcorn. I missed the trash can and just all over the floor. Great. Did he fall asleep? Oh. Isn't it always so amazing? A sleeping baby. There's not much more joy out of life than seeing a sleeping baby. <laughs> Even though after this, he was dozing off, but I'm pretty sure he woke up. I'm trying to like put my finger on his nose and that whole trick. Oh my gosh, funny story. So I was at, I don't know where I was, some store filming a shop with me. I think I was at TJ Maxx. Ran into this lady 
And, oh, you know, oh my gosh, it was so funny. Oh, what did they say? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I went to Home Goods and TJ Maxx to film a shop with me. This was weeks ago. And I, I got to tell you, more than a handful of older women came up to me. What aisle can I find this cutie on? <laughs> or what aisle did you find him on? And it was so funny because they all had this same line. And I felt like I had never heard that one before. And it cracked me up as I heard it throughout the day because you know shop with me's take quite a long time to film so i heard it over and over again and by the you know this was the last lady that said it to me i was like this is the funniest thing okay i'm telling you more than five women came up to me what aisle can i find one of these <laughs> like referencing the baby anyway gotta love that all right so there's a there's a line for you if you're ever shopping and see a baby <laughs> okay so what was i talking about I don't remember. Okay, the last lady that came up to me and said, well, you know what? She also said, because at that point, Wolfgang was getting pretty fussy. He was ready for a nap. He doesn't always fall asleep in the carrier, which is why it's such a joy to see him asleep like this. He Listen, he doesn't sleep much, okay? So I got to relish in these moments while I can. He usually needs a lot of love to fall asleep. So this woman says, oh, you know, I saw this video where... They just put like a tissue over the baby's face and the baby just fell asleep. And I was like, oh, well, wouldn't it be amazing if it actually worked that easily, <laughs> right? Anyway, uh, he needs a lot more love than that. But I just thought it was funny. You can't believe everything you see online because I see it all too. I've tried all the tricks, all the trades. This is my fifth go around and I still can't be right. Some babies are just different. Wolfgang is a very high needs baby. Okay, I've had one before and it this too shall pass is what Alex says. Anyway, the boys are back in the, the boys are back in town playing in the backyard. Thought I'd share. Oh man, Aquilina's back just broke because I asked her for a favor. <laughs> she said, Ugh. See that popcorn on the floor? Can you sweep that what up popcorn? for me? What popcorn? She says. She's so funny. All right, I figured I do need to clean the floors. I just put some essential oils on to make the place smell better. So maybe when people come in, they'll just have yeah. the illusion that it's cleaner. All I can do. Yeah. To leave two chocolate chip cookies untouched. I will leave two cookies for you. Because I hate the frosting. I'm going to fill the vanilla. I know. I don't know why. Okay, I'm throwing Nobody the dessert frosting. together. Everybody likes no, frosting. No, my friend said that the ice cream ones are better. Ice cream? Yes. Ice cream cookie or frosting cookie? Oh, ice cream. Cookie. I don't like ice creams, so though. That's no, no, the problem. Nobody, nobody likes frosting. It's too sweet. <gasps> More for me. It's too it's sweet. sweeter. Frosting is sweeter than ice cream. Yeah, it is. The, the Avelina Chronicles. No, I okay. Anyway, I'm gonna put these cookies together. It's the treat. You gotta make dessert first, right? Anyway, so I'm going around my house, trying to pick up, trying to tidy up, so if people come over, it's like not so bad. But then I'm thinking. Like, I have five kids and a baby. I don't think anyone's gonna like walk in my house and one, expect it to be clean, and two, judge me if it isn't. And if they do, that's on them. Cause uh, I'm at the point of not caring. Oh no, one of the cookies broke. I guess that's mine. Maybe we can kind of glue it back together here. There we go, good as new. If you don't know what I'm doing, this is literally the best life hack. <laughs> I just get, store-bought buttercream icing, this is Publix, and Publix cookies. And I don't know if I ever told you, you guys, Publix cookies, first of all, I already told you their bakery is supreme, it's the best. People love their Publix subs, they're like famous, okay? They're, they're well known for certain things. Their cookies is one of those things, and I had an insider, okay, someone who works there, tell me the secret ingredient for their cookies. Do you wanna know? It's raisin paste. Raisin pa what even is raisin paste, you may ask? I assume just raisins just, you know, in the food processor. This is, a this is incredible. I'm gonna get a tray. Is it too early for Easter? I don't I think guess so. I'll just have to I gotta tell you something. If you've never tried these cookies with buttercream icing on the inside, don't do it because you'll eat more than you want. <laughs> I know from experience. Eleanor just informed me I had lipstick on my teeth. I don't know how long it's been there, so there's that. It's been there since I got home. 
Why didn't you tell me? I'm going off, but I thought that was rude and not ladylike. Oh my gosh, it is very ladylike to tell someone that they have lipstick on their teeth. How embarrassing. That's best friend behavior. Okay, I'm Have you seen that. Eleanor got her report card? All A's. I bragged on Eleanor, now I have to brag on Avelina. Avelina got all A's too, and A pluses, same as Eleanor. Super excited, my question is, what are we gonna do to celebrate? Cracker Barrel. I can't go to Cracker Barrel. No, we have yet to celebrate their amazing marks. Uh, and honestly, not to brag on them even more, but Eleanor and Avelina are like top of their class. Actually, the other day I was helping Avelina with some English homework, and she's in sixth grade, but her, she does ninth grade uh, she's at ninth grade level, which is incredible and amazing. So I was helping her with her homework and I was like, oh my God, it took me a minute to get into it. But after a while, I was getting pretty proud of myself, like really helping. I was like, wow, I remember this stuff. But man, good stuff right there. I feel a certain amount of success when I am able to help my children with their schoolwork. Right? I'm like, oh my gosh, my brain does still remember some things. Okay, so I'm moving on to getting together a kudute. Is that what this thing is called? Just a veggie board, a fruit, some mixed fruit and stuff. Oh, by the way, I saw this hack, if you will. I'm using air quotes. And it, the way to clean a broccoli. And apparently this is a one way to clean your broccoli to make sure the water actually gets through because when you flip it over and wash it on top, it just runs off. Some people say this is how you get the bugs out, whatever, but like I've never found a bug in grocery store. Maybe if you're getting from a farmer's market or something, I don't know. So I just do both ways to make sure, or you can slosh it around in, you know, a sink full of water or something. So I'm putting together these boards, just like a veggie tray, whatever, something simple. And I got to Like, why don't I do this more often just for the family? I need to get like a proper veggie tray with a top. I just cover it with saran wrap and, uh, you know, that's good to go, you know, to, if you're going to save it for a little bit and like I ate the snaws out of this. I can't remember the last time I've had a snapped pea, but I ate the crap out of these snapped peas. Everyone ate up the fruit. That was like the first thing to go. The bell peppers on there. Oh my, the carrots, my kids were eating veggies, like they were going out of style. And I thought, why don't I do this more often? Slash I need to, slash it's also good for me because I feel like I don't really eat raw veggies as much as I should. I eat cooked veggies almost every night for dinner, but raw ones, not as much. So this is the spread that I had, cookies, the veggie tray, pita chips, hummus, and then that, uh, the fruit right there. And I gotta tell you the hummus that I picked out, sweet, I think it was sweet Thai chili and then just original. They were buy one, get one free from public. So I just took a chance on an unknown flavor. And man, is it good. Also with pretzels, it's good. I tried it with uh, carrots, delicious. So these are the true, oh no, sweet chili garlic. Delicious. I would 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> Boar's Head too. I don't know if that's a brand just for Publix, but well, I guess it's not because Publix would be the brand for Publix. Anyway. It's like a well-known brand and it's supposed to be really good, I guess. I don't know. So I, I don't usually buy their hummus, but they had different flavors and they were buy one, get one free. Love a good BOGO. So that's what I did. Also for summertime, oh my gosh, first of all, that fruit was making me crave summer. Remember when I was like making all these fruit, what were they called? I don't know, like fruit bowls with mint and all the herbs. I can't wait to do that again. Man, I really want an herb garden. By the way, I killed all my tomato seedlings. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. So here we are cleaning the rest of it. I can't wait for summer. Can't wait to eat all the fruit. Loving how good I feel after I eat a copious amount of veggies. And seeing that all out is always so encouraging for me. When I see other people prep it, I'm like, man, that looks good. I need to do that too. So hopefully that's the inspiration you got from this today, if nothing else. Go eat something fresh or cookies. I don't care. You know, it's all about balance. I have a really good brownie recipe coming up. Texas mud, if you will. I think it'll be in the next video. It'll be like a what's for dinner dinner inspiration video and you know I always enjoy adding a dessert there because what is life without sugar that's a real question not rhetorical and the answer to that I would say is a sad one it's a sad life by the way have you ever seen the movie it's a wonderful life it's not good 
I've spoken to so many people, actually Alex has, and he says so many people say that's their favorite movie. And my question to that is why? Also not rhetorical. Why? It's one of my least favorite movies of all time. That's gross. Gross and satisfying. Always feels good. I didn't even, that's just a quick run through the house. I didn't even do my room, which I plan on doing. My contact is like, I don't know, so sharp today. I think I have something in my eye, maybe an eyelash or something in my contact. It's just like irritating. It's not going battle. I don't know. I've tried, I've, it's been going for like three days and I've switched out my contacts. I've switched out a lot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, ow, my eye hurts, but short story long. Thanks for hanging out today. I feel like we did enough. I'm sweating. I'm gonna head outside and enjoy some time. And uh, did we do enough today? I don't know, I feel like we did. I gotta make dinner in like an hour. So there's that. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Bye.